Greetings, wrestling fans. It's VidTech coming at you from the legendary Sun 2 Recording Studios. Now, the entire music industry has been abuzz with the news that the stars of the GWF would be recording an album. Legendary producer Bernie Freeberg has signed on to produce the disc, and he's promised a truly galaxy-shattering album. Now, you know if I'm here, I'm going to be bringing you all the behind-the-scenes scoops, and hold it, folks. Looks like our first scoop has just appeared, and it's a knockout. Fantasy, can we get a word from you, please? What do you want, Slime? Just a quick interview. Is it possible that we're going to get to hear a song by the beautiful Fantasy on this album? In your dreams, nerd. No, I'm here because I'm playing tambourine on American Guy's track. What a scoop! That's nothing. American Guy is playing on the song as well. He is? What instrument does he play? Well, the instrument that makes any song an instant classic, of course. And that instrument would be... Hello, cowbell. This I gotta see. Okay, folks, let's follow Fantasy to Studio 1776 for a song called American Guy. Here we go now. A case of beer, some barbecue. There's no doubt that I'm better than you. With these looks and these moves, you can't blame me for being so rude. The land of the red, white, and blue will be my home till the day I die. I'm every lady's fantasy. Hey everyone, it's VidTech back with you once again, and right now we're joined by the superstar who most people credit as being the inspiration for this whole CD. It was this gentleman that Throwing Toasters first wrote a song about several years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Reptilo. Yeah, it's good to be here. It's good to be here, buddy. Now, most folks credit you as being the reason behind the current resurgence of music and wrestling combining together. Uh, how does that make you feel? Well, I, I tell you, it makes me feel real good, you know. Uh, but it doesn't surprise me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because I am Andromeda's biggest export. Huh? Uh, what about Wolf? Wolf? Wolf who? No, brother. Well, folks, let's send it back to the studio for a brand new version of the classic hit, 
the Ballad of Reptilo. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, was he that dog type guy that was always hanging around with me? They took my best friend Reptilo and they turned him into a serpent on man and they turned him into a doomsday creature and then they turned him back into Reptilo and he laughed. I oh, want you please bring my Reptilo back. I know he wasn't the best wrestler there ever was, but I always thought he was well. Kinda cute, even though he sucked. He was always trans evolving, and everything is always trans evolving, and you are always trans evolving, and I. I'm always trans evolving. Won't you please bring my reptilo back? I know he wasn't the best wrestler there ever was, but I always thought he was well, kinda cute, even though he sucked. Uh, Trent, what are you talking about? What part of this information is bouncing off your thick head, huh? The news says that a band of zombies is heading towards the studio. A band of zombies headed for the studio. Uh, come on, you must be joking. Oh, yeah, yeah it's a scream, all right. What, what do you think? I, I'm making a story like this up just to mess with you? According to the news reports, it's true. All right, okay, I believe you. All right, man, watch your back, all right? All right, all right, I will. Keep me posted. Sorry about that, folks. Anyway, VidTech back with you here, and let me tell you that this day has been truly amazing so far. I cannot wait to see what... Wait a minute. Plethador, what are you doing here? I'm here because they are recording the song I wrote in Studio 123. You wrote a song? I did indeed. In addition to being a superb athlete, I also dabble in lyric writing from time to time. Well, this I gotta hear. Uh, do you mind if we follow you into the studio? Oh, not at all. Say, have you seen a drinking fountain around here by any chance? I'm feeling a little bit parched. Uh, yeah, I think there's one at the end of the hall. Perfect. You think that you're so grand Always walking around on land You're always so rude Always so uncouth You think racking up the pins Is impossible with fins Let me tell you now and it's further from the truth Well you'd know that you want to let the ones in the water have a shot To start our stuff, be real tough, show what we got Just because we have to stay moist Doesn't mean you get to make the choice To go ahead and rob Our opportunity to do the job For years now from down below We've watched as you guys have run the show It's time to end the oppression you've created We won't back down from a fight We'll go out there every night And kick anybody's ass and stay hydrated Well you know that you want to let the ones in the water have a chance to strut our stuff, be real tough at the big dance Just because we like to swim Doesn't mean that we can't win Against guys of a lower rank Give us our shot to get ourselves out of the tank Here we go, here we go, here we go Hey, hand me that water bottle Thanks Get a little thirsty. 
too late. Mm. Don't want to become dehydrated. You gotta drink eight glasses a day. Hey, hey, hey! You know that you ought to give the ones in the water a break. Leaving us down here to drown is a mistake. Yeah, we got a chip on our shoulder. Yeah, we're gonna keep getting bolder. Things are gonna get rough. Cause we finally had enough of your crap. Amphibian animal word. Know what I'm saying? Come down to the pond, Sparky. What, like an ant is a better wrestler? That's a bunch of bull. Get it? Like Minotaur? Hey, it's VidTech, and we're back here at Sun 2 Recording Studios. And joining us is Mother Superior. Mother Superior, I was pretty shocked to see that you had signed Bloodline and Incubus up to write a song on this album. I saw them entering the studio, and they looked pretty unhappy with having to be here today. It's all part of their healing process, VidTech. This song will help them work through some of the lingering issues they've been dealing with. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Any sneak preview on what the song will be about? Well, you'll have to wait and see. But I will say that it's not the type of song you want to play for your father. Intriguing, intriguing. Well, let's head down to Studio 701 for a track by Divided We Fall. folks, VidTech back here with you, and let me just say that the halls of the Sun 2 Recording Studios are a veritable who's who in the world of the GWF. We've got current stars mixing with stars of the past, and it's truly a sight to see. And now, speaking of former stars, we're joined by none other than the Beast Rider himself, Tarek. Tarek, uh, how has everything been? Oh, yes, I say, uh, life in the jungle has just been ducky. Now, I am told that you are here because you have penned a tribute of sorts to a fallen comrade. Yes, that's right. I've written a little ode to Sectarian. Oh, right, right, right. The uh, monkey dude. Yes, the monkey dude. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, let's head to the studio for Sectarian. I brought my Simeon friend to the G. 
GWF because I thought he could be a star. But he lacked talent and charisma. He didn't wind up going very far. So I thought I would change his angle. Made him my very own tag team partner. But the best laid plans of Chimp and then they often fail. And we didn't wind up going any farther. Sudden death came along, a plan took shape Some guys in the fed tried to take out my ape In Canis Minor, a plan was put in motion Cannibal death's head attack without any emotion They waited in the shadows, feeling all funky With the throat slit and the funeral march that started to hurt my monkey My monkey friend was hurt really bad He had no choice but to go The fans and I will really miss him Because he'll never be in another show I needed some friends to help me get some retribution Stalker, Wildcat, the perfect solution We went to our task without any mercy There was never a night without any controversy We chased the renegades all over the galaxy To make those bastards pay for hurting my monkey Peeling a banana for my homie. Vidtech here behind the scenes of the songs in the key of GWF album, and let me tell you, producer Bernie Freeberg has really gone all out for the recording today. One studio has been modified into a training room, so the superstars don't have to miss any workout time. And right in here is the most amazing craft services table you've ever seen. Now, let me show you the... Oh, my. Oh, that is... Rotunda? Well, hello there, handsome. What are you doing here, uh, besides eating all the food? I'm here to record my song. Your song? Oh, no. You're gonna sing? Well, of course, silly. If I don't, the album will never be over. What are you talking about? Well, you know, the record ain't over until the fat lady sings. Now, how about a kiss before I go in the studio? (laughs) Oh, Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Men, you're all the same. All right, against my better judgment, ladies and gentlemen, let's go live to Studio 48 Double D for Rotunda.
looking for love under the big top. It's hard to get dates. Cause every new man you meet is probably a primate under the big top. Don't get up on the piano. I can do it. No, no, no. Get, oh, yeah. get off the oh, piano. Yeah, yeah. You don't look sexy. No, no, I... Woo! We are back. And can I just say that it'll be several weeks before I'm able to get that image of Rotunda on top of the piano out of my head? <sighs> Anyway, joining me now is the living embodiment of the Fountain of Youth. Would you please welcome Ponce de Leon himself, Toron. Well, it's great to be here, VidTech. Say, is uh, is that a wrinkle? <laughs> I, I kid, I kid. Yeah, funny. So anyway, you've written a song for this album, is that correct? I have. You know, being someone who ages backwards, I live with a unique set of problems, especially when it comes to uh, romantic relationships. So that's what my song is all about. All right, there you have it, folks. Let's not waste any time. Here is Baby, I'm Gonna Be Your Baby Sue. I hear people saying they're not getting any younger, but that's not true with me. Cause every day I get a little stronger I'm aging backwards, you see Ten years ago I was an old man And you wouldn't give me the time of day But you want me now that I'm younger And I gotta say Baby, I'm gonna be your baby soon And you're gonna have to take care of me Changing all of my diapers, feeding me with a spoon I hope it comes naturally Cause baby, I'm gonna give you a baby And that baby's gonna be me About the time that you're in your fifties I'll just be hitting my teens voice cracking Face covered in acne My room is never gonna be clean I'll always be asking you for money And if I can borrow the right So it's important that you understand The reason why Cause baby, I'm gonna be your baby soon But I'm spending my whole life with you Here's hoping that you'll still want me when I reach my terrible twos Cause baby, I'm gonna give you a baby And that baby's gonna be me Baby, I'm gonna be your baby soon And you're gonna have to take care of me Changing all of my diapers, feeding me with a spoon I hope it comes naturally Cause baby, I'm gonna Give you a baby, and that baby's gonna be me. Baby, I'm gonna be your baby soon. But I'm spending my whole life with you. Here's hoping that you'll still want me when I reach my terrible twos. Cause baby, I'm gonna give you a baby, and that baby's gonna be me. Baby, I'm gonna be your baby soon. And you're gonna have to take care of me Changing all of my diapers, feeding me with a spoon I hope it comes naturally Cause baby, I'm gonna give you a baby And that baby's gonna be me Gonna be me all right, folks, I am outside Studio 3PO, where I am told that there is some sort of argument going on. Uh, producer Bernie Freeberg is inside, and my sources say that he's been arguing with none other than the Dark Menace himself. I'm going to sneak in and see if I can get the scoop. 
This is the most inane idea I've ever heard. Look, trust me, it's gonna help his image. You are making a mockery of him, and I promise you, he will not stand for it. Mockery? Now, look, if he does this, the fans will see him in a different light, and they'll embrace him. I highly doubt that. Ah, trust me, it's simple. Look, all he has to do is stand in front of the microphone, and when I point to him, he says his name. Fine. You get one take. One take is all we'll need. And I'm not responsible for any damages. Damages? Nah, everything's gonna be fine. Okay, hit it, boys. Well, he comes from a planet really far away. Much, but he's got plenty to say. Mono, mono, live. He's barking a moon, but we're not sure why he isn't covered with fur. He's had a cleansing or so we insist, so you better not tangle with Mono. say I told you so, but I won't. All I'll say is, you may want to call a doctor to see if you can get that guitar removed. Well, there you have it, folks. I'd say the destruction of the studio and, well, producer Bernie Freeberg brings the first ever GWF album to a close. My name's VidTech, and it's been a pleasure giving you a behind-the-scenes scoop on the recording of the album. Now, if you'll excuse me, I, uh, I want to get out of here. What with that report I received earlier of a band of zombies headed for the studio, I'm not hanging around. Uh, take it easy, everybody. VidTech, out!
They took my best friend Reptilo And they turned him into a serpent man And then they turned him into a doomsday creature And then they turned him back into Reptilo And he laughed But would you please bring my Reptilo back I know he wasn't the best wrestler there ever was but I always thought he was, well, kind of cute Even though he sucked He was always trans-evolving And everything is always trans-evolving And you are always trans-evolving I'm always trans evolving. Would you please bring my reptilo back? I know he wasn't the best wrestler there ever was, but I always thought he was, well, kind of cute, even though he sucked. My simian friend to the GWF Because I thought he could be a star But he lacked talent and charisma He didn't wind up going very far So I decided that I would change his angle Make him my very own Tag team partner But the best laid plans of chimp and men They often fail Because we didn't wind up going Any farther But then sudden death came along A plan took shit There were some guys in the fed Trying to take out my ape He came as minor Their plan was put in motion Cannibal and dead's head attacked Without any emotion They waited in the shadows Feeling all punky With the throat slit And the funeral march They started to hurt my monkey monkey friend was hurt really bad he had no choice but to go the fans and I will really miss him because he'll never be in another show well I needed some friends to help me get some retribution stalker and wildcat were the perfect solution we went to our task without any mercy there was never a night without any controversy we chased the renegades all over the galaxy to make the bastards pay for when they hurt my monkey to make them pay for hurt my monkey Don't touch my monkey Oh,
turned him back into reptile and he left Now for something completely different.